name is Chris, I'm from Kissimmee Team Productions, and today this is my tutorial on how to do a facial uh, rigging in Moho 12. So let's head to begin. I already had created this character in Moho 12. I separated out the layers accordingly, so let's begin by this simply rigging of the character, so. So, basically I'm gonna start off with the base bone, now the body, so, just drag the bone up there. And for the head, I'm gonna just uh, drag it near, near the head. Now we're going to use pin bones next, so we're going to just click on the canvas, just click it once, and then once more we're going to uh, highlight the pin bone, and then click on the canvas, that will serve as our um, Basis for our eyes. Now we're gonna click on the pupils, create two pin bones, and then we're gonna click off to the side again. Now this will serve as our base and for our um, hair, hair turn. It will make sense later. So, um, right now, we're going to zoom in on the pupils. We're going to center the pin bones to the, uh, to the pupils. So now we're gonna parent everything. Um, before I do that, I want to just make some uh, regular bones. Just so that we have uh, some more small bones to work with. It will actually depend on um, what type of rig you're building. But in this case, we're going to just work on this simple character for a head turn and for a blinking and stuff like that. So select these four bones right here. Come over here to bone constraints. Now we're going to zero out everything, put this to 90 under angle constraints, and close this one. Now we're going to select these two bones right here, and then we're going to do the opposite effect. So I'm going to put the 90 and then zero, zero under ankle constraints. So we're gonna rename these bones. Call this space. Call this uh, butt body. Call this head. So it's a good idea to just rename all your bones. 
of what you you are doing. After that song, after we renamed everything, um, we're going ahead and um, select all the bones. Then can come over here to bone constraints, zero out everything. The only reason that I zeroed out everything, I don't want this bone or any bones to conflict with this gradient on the base. So now we're gonna reparent the whole uh, bone structure. So gonna select this bone. Now we're gonna select all these bones up here. All these seven. So um, gonna just click the head bone right now. So. Then we're gonna um, bind them, plant bind them. So this one is gonna be connected to the head turn. So we're gonna select all the points, select uh, point bind. Same thing goes for here. And then um, for the uh, eyebrows, we're not gonna click the masking group. We're gonna click the individual layers. And now for the um, eyes. So we're gonna select the um, the left eye, we're gonna point and bind everything. Now for the right one, we're gonna select these uh, four points and bind them. And if you guys notice that uh, to according to the bone um, point binding, it will actually make the points a different color corresponding with the bone color. That's pretty cool. So now we're gonna select for the eyes. So we're gonna select the face uh, bone. Did I name those? Let me make sure. No. I did not. This is an excellent example of why you should need to uh, rename your bones. If any case if you're doing something like a, a cartoon series or you name multiple characters. So after that we're gonna find the um, head. We're gonna select all the points, find them, come over here to the uh, head turn. Then point by these three points together. Now as far as the neck goes, uh, hmm. it does not matter. And same thing with this bone. Um, we 
begin now to combine these uh, individual parts. Now, if this was a full rig, I would have multiple bones corresponding with the layers. So, for this hair group, we're going to select the hair bone, which should be right there. So, we're going to select all the points, bind them. Now, let's go ahead to make smart bones um, for these. Okay, I'm back. So, sorry about that speed video type of thing, but I had to set up the smart bones. I doubt if you want me to do that. So, the point of the video is just to show you how to rig up the character uh, in Moho 12. So, after we got all done with that, now we can just adjust the head turn. So of course, we're gonna grab the head turn and then um, face the character to the right. So now what there is to do is to select a, a individual uh, bones, the point bones that I created. And then we're gonna select on the bone constraints uh, head turn, and that will automatically uh, make sure that this bone is following um, the head turn. So of course, uh, the reason I separated the um, the hair in the face is because I can control the points even better, as you can see. That too, we're gonna adjust the face bone next. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select head turn on the base and for some odd reason it doesn't want to do that so we're gonna find out why in a second I'm gonna leave that in the video um just in case if you are wondering um, why I did that is because it had not bound to the um, uh, right bone. It was not bounded at all. So <clears throat> we can adjust the uh, amount of effect that the head turn is providing this uh, rig. And now we can go ahead and test a rig from one and then uh, that's not working. But that is. So that is pretty good. So I'm also gonna leave this in the video too. 
I'm gonna also parent these guys to the um, master rig to the master eyes I mean so now that we have that done we can go to frame one and start testing this rig so it moves pretty good Except for this part up here. That's only because uh, it's trying to it's trying to adjust for this bone in the center. Let's go ahead and Do that for a second. That looks pretty good. Okay, guys, so this was how to rig up a character in Malho 12. And thank you so much for watching. And if this helps you, please make sure to leave a like in the video and see you next time please rate comment and subscribe for animation and animation tutorials please click here and subscribe